and team spirit in youth. Honorable State Government is in report on cash transfer for Christmas. President Tinubu asks the armed forces to remain nonpartisan, protect democracy. German Chancellor urges Western allies to renew support for Ukraine. Before the news in detail, here is a special message. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a total to around maintenance of the Anambra state economy and the promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the tax ahead. Good evening and welcome to the news. My name is Chidima Orangwa. The governor of Anambra State, Professor Chukuma Saludo, has lauded the state football team for their recent victory in the Nigeria National League NNL Championship. The team solution football club coasted to victory with one goal after a tense and thrilling match against Oshun United. A GK Abanez report is taken from our studio. Governor praised the team for their hard work, dedication, and commitment to excellence and their impressive performance in the outing. The governor also highlighted the importance of sports in building character and fostering teamwork among young people. He noted that sports is not just about winning or losing, but they teach valuable life lessons such as discipline, perseverance, and teamwork. Governor Saludo said that such qualities are essential for success in any field and expressed his gladness about seeing young people develop them through sports. The governor who promised to continue supporting the team to excel all the way if they produce results assured that the state football club will be officially unveiled soon. So it's to tell you that I have a personal, personal, personal interest in this football team. It's a future for you. You can make a glorious future out of that. You'll become also motivators and role models to others. So I want to encourage you to take it seriously to excel. The team captain, Emmanuel Daniel, said that it feels great to see their efforts paying off, assuring that they will strive to make the state proud. Chairman of the State Sports Commission, Mr. Patrick Onyedum, led the team on the visit which was attended by Chief of Staff to the Governor, Mr. Ernest Ezadwe, Principal Secretary to the Governor, Barrister Joaquin Aneto, among others. Anambra State Deputy Governor Dr. Onyeka Chuku Ibezim has restated the commitment of the Professor Chuku Masaluda led administration towards making the state technological sector viable and most sought after across the globe. The Deputy Governor stated this when he represented Governor Saluda during the Anambra State adoption of the Nigeria Startup Act Ecosystem Stakeholders Engagement and Validation Session held at Solution Innovation District Oka. Details from our studio. Events which attracted men in the tech sector as well as academia and industrialists gave them opportunity to deliberate on the Nigerian Startup Act to identify ways through which the act will be beneficial to the state as well as the tech sector. Deputy Governor Ibezim, who acknowledged that the world is now technology driven, explained that Governor Soludo is passionate about stabilizing the tech sector of the state to ensure that Anambra State is not left behind in the recent trend. Describing technology as one of the major pillars of the present administration, Dr. Ibezim said that the efforts of the governor in building the tech sector is also geared towards meaningfully engaging the teaming youth and eradicating unemployment among them. Okay, we are moving into an era globally where if you don't buy technology, we will leave you behind. And we have a solution innovation district which is a, a warehouse that is capturing this. To Mr. Governor, this is like dreams that are being actualized. The startups, a few weeks ago, the, the governor graduated 5,000 uh, startups through one to steel program. And uh, this is the way forward to create the development of Nigeria. This is a wonderful initiative. That is the way forward. Earlier in a remark, the convener of the event and special advisor to Governor Chukwu Masoludo on innovation and business incubation, Mrs. Chimu Okoli, explained that adoption of the Nigerian Startup Act in Anambra is a declaration 
that the state is ready to embrace the technology with open arms and a sign that Governor Soludo matches words with action in his promise to make Anambra a technology hub. Mrs. Okoli noted that the Nigeria Startup Act will create a conducive environment for startups to flourish in the state, reduce legislative burden, provide tax incentives, simplify the democratic process, and unshackle the potentials of startups, and as well provide startups that can compete favorably with their counterparts globally. This act is important because it's designed to actually support the growth of startups, technology enabled startups um, out of Anambra State. And you know, startups are people who come up with ideas as solutions to different different problems we have. Um, and they cut across sectors. It could be from the health, education, environment, just any sector, just, just name it. So we want to see the emergence of startups out of Anambra State. In a speech, the state adoption lead, Nigeria Startup Act, Mrs. Tracy Okolo Isaac, who spoke on understanding and leveraging the opportunities of the Nigeria Startup Act, said that the act was enacted to ensure that startups thrive in this part of the world, adding that it regulates both the activities of the startups in Nigeria and the government. Anambra State Government has sent a message circulating on social media platforms and various online channels, claiming that the government has approved a 10,000 Naira cash transfer giveaway for all citizens for Christmas and New Year celebrations. A release signed by the press secretary to the governor, Mr. Christian Aburime, described the information as a misleading, fraudulent and false, and not authorized by the Anambra State Government. We have details of the release. The release explained that the link provided in the message was fraudulent and advised members of the public not to open the link as their personal data may be compromised. It made clear that the Anambra State Government does not operate any cash transfer program of this nature through unverified online links or applications, adding that any official communication or program initiated by the government is announced through official channels, including verified government websites, press statements, and authorized social media handles. The strongly advise the public to exercise caution and refrain from engaging with a search fraudulent links or sharing personal information through unverified platforms. The state government regretted that individuals or groups who will seek to deceive the public with the false promises, especially during festive seasons, and encourage citizens to remain vigilant and report such fraudulent activities to the appropriate authorities. It also advised the public to refer to official government channels and authorized representatives for authentic and verified information regarding government programs, initiatives, or announcements, assuring that the Anambra State Government remains committed to serving the people with a transparency, integrity, and accountability. Over 10,000 graduates have been awarded various academic degrees in Nabda Zikiwe University, Oka. The graduates received the awards during the 17th convocation ceremony of the institution held at the convocation arena. Details from our studio. Thousand graduates were awarded first degree of various fields of study. Three thousand three hundred graduates received postgraduate diploma. Eight hundred and seven received master's degree, while six hundred were awarded doctorate degree. Addressing the university community and its guests, including the visitor to the school, President Bola Tinubu, members of Federal Executive Council, National Assembly members, Anambra State Legislators, Chancellor Nanda Zikiwa University, and the Wongwom Jaws, Dr. Da Jacob Gyambuba, Pro Chancellor and members of Governing Council of the School, members of the University Senate, traditional rulers, including the traditional ruler of furniture and chairman Anambra State Traditional Rulers Council, Igwe Alfred Achebe, the Archbishop Anglican Niger Province, Most Reverend Alexander Ibezin, students and other guests. President Bola Tinubu commended the graduates for acquiring degrees from various fields in the institution. President Tinubu represented by the Director of Tertiary Education, Federal Minister of Education. Education, Mrs. Rekiat Eliasu reminded them that life outside the university is beyond acquiring a certificate and that there is a lot of national and individual competition in the open market as government tries to carry its responsibility of caring for its citizens. They should think out of the box and know how to fix themselves as there is no gain saying or expecting the government to muzzle all problem. Only by guaranteed by sound moral character. 
I therefore implore you to shun vices and act capable of truncating the peace the university is enjoying now. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I congratulate our indefatigable parents for the courage and determination in pulling resources together in order to secure a glorious future for their children and wives. Chancellor of the University, Dr. Jacob Giambuba, who earlier declared the ceremony open, congratulated the graduates for attaining higher degrees and certificates, even in the face of economic challenges, urging them to be ambassadors of the school wherever they may be. I congratulate the postgraduate diploma and higher degree graduates who will today be our I salute the distinguished Nigerians who will be conferred with honorary degrees in acknowledgement and appreciation of their various contributions to Nigeria's development. In an address, the Vice Chancellor of UNISIC, Professor Charles Estimone, while welcoming all to the event, thanked the President for the visit and said he believed in the renewed hope agenda of President Tinubu on his Project 200 agenda of making the university the best in Nigeria, among the 10 best universities in Africa, and among the first 200 the world over. Professor Estimone said that Nandazikiwe University ranked fifth in Nigeria, 31 in sub saharan Africa and 1,500 and won in the world from ranking among the first 4,000 universities. He announced that National Universities Commission approved commencement of about 11 undergraduate studies and expressed pride in the level of academic excellence recorded by the institution under his watch. From the Nanda Zikiwe University, Oka, I am Ngozi Obileri for ABS News. While the Vice Chancellor of Nam Dazikiwe University, Oka Professor Charles Isimune, has described the UNICEF Business School, UBS, as a grand a global brand. Speaking at the 17th convocation dinner of 35 doctorate and trainee master's graduates of the school held in Oka, the Anambra State Capital, Professor Isimune, who was represented by the Deputy Vice Chancellor Administration, Professor Joseph E.K. Tabelo said that the school will always get the attention of the management of the institution. Challenge the graduates to strive to make a difference in their different endeavors and be good ambassadors of the institution. Contributing the Provost College of Postgraduate Studies, Nanda Zikwe University, Oka, Professor Philomena Ibokwe, represented by the Associate Provost of the College, Professor Shinyelu Epunife, charged the graduates to use the opportunity they had at the school to improve their former selves, stressing that Unizik Business School is a special brand. <laughs> So improve your former self. It's not to compete or to feel that we are superior to some other person. But we are now superior to your former self. In his address at the event, the director, Unisic Business School, Professor Mo Koye, charged graduates of the school to add value of improved proficiency, productivity, and excellence to the various organizations they own or work for, describing them as the essence of the kind of learning opportunity offered in Unisic Business School. Professor Koye noted that the dinner offered the opportunity to present for the very first time in the history of Unisic Business School doctoral graduates that majored in business administration and public administration session respectively and reminded all especially the graduates that when one studies he or she shows self approved unto god as recorded in second timothy chapter 2 verse 15 describing the 55 graduates as ambassadors and the biggest advertoria for unisic business school professor koye requested them to introduce two new persons to join the unisic business school learning experience in order to give them what they have enjoyed he stated that with the new academic programs added the need for more class rooms and office spaces for the Unity Business School can no longer be overemphasized, calling for support in ensuring timely completion, even as he commended a member of the board of directors of the school, Chief Iken Nokafo, for his financial support to start the building project. We are indeed happy that you will bring value-added orientation of improved proficiency, productivity, efficiency and excellence to the various organizations that you either own or work for.
Chief of Staff to the Governor, Mr. N.S. Ezajui, who attended the event, spoke on ways the state and the university can drive sustainable development. What we are doing in Africa, because we want to bring life to this city. You don't just come to the university community and spend your four years of, you know, we want to make Africa livable. And that is why we are putting a lot of infrastructure at the moment. In Oka, Joseph Ebocha reporting for ABS News. Stu to come on the news tonight. President Tinubu asked armed forces to remain nonpartisan, protect democracy. German Chancellor urges Western allies to renew support for Ukraine. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a tutu to around maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of Co Ibu Valleys. Let's give him maximum support for the tax ahead. The news returns after this time out. Please join us again. One has always dreamt of being in the spotlight. That's why I give him Born Vita for everyday vitality. That gives him the strength to pursue his dreams. Born Vita, strength to dream. Our new toothpaste, Colgate Maximum Cavity Protection. Why are we changing our toothpaste? Because with Colgate Maximum Cavity Protection, I can be sure your teeth are cavity free. When you brush daily with Colgate Maximum Cavity Protection, its expert formula locks natural calcium in our teeth and helps protect them from cavity. Colgate is the world's most chosen toothpaste. Colgate locks calcium in teeth cavities out. The new Colgate Mini Pack is now available at just three. Welcome back. Preston Bola Tinibu has charged the nation's armed forces to remain non-partisan but vigilant in upholding democratic principles. President Tinibu also said he would continue to work assiduously to provide the military with the necessary support to keep the troublers of the nation at bay. Speaking at the Chief of the Army Staff Annual Conference 2023 in Meduguri, Borono State, the President said he has no intention of relenting or resting on its laurels in securing Nigeria, declaring that he will win the battle to keep Nigeria safe. According to a statement issued by the Special Advisor on Media and Publicity, Ajiri Ngelali, President Tinibu, who acknowledged the, the Nigerian Army's uh, commitment to national security, emphasized their role as a guardian of constitutional order during elections, citing the recent procurement of new aircraft as a testament of his resolve to upgrade national defense capability. President Tinibu also affirmed his administration's commitment to advancing the ongoing modernization process within the military, with a focus on improving mobility, communications, and offensive striking capabilities. The Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Mr. Wale Idun, has ruled out the possibility of an increment in tax rates in the country. Speaking during an interactive session with Mr. Abubakar Karbi Bichi, led the House of Representatives Committee, on finance, he said, rather than increase taxes, his ministry will emphasize revenue generation in the 2024 financial year. The interactive session between the committee and minister and government-owned enterprises was aimed at shoring up revenue generation above the projected 27.5 trillion naira for the 2024 budget. The minister who fielded questions from members of the committee maintained that it will be counterproductive to increase taxes since there is the need to attract both local and foreign investors to the country. The minister who acknowledged the government spending on key infrastructure and social services like education, health remains inadequate, stressed the need to cut wastages and leakages in government expenditures. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz has called on Western allies to send a message to Russian President Vladimir Putin by renewing their support for Ukraine as political divisions threatened to hold up aid. Russia's war in Ukraine was one that will likely drag on for a long time, Scholz has said at a press conference. Germany, along with its partners in NATO and the European Union, have provided Ukraine with billions in aid to sustain its war effort. But the stream of support has looked at risks of drying up as political divisions on both sides of the Atlantic threaten to block new supplies. 
In the EU, Hungary's prime minister has threatened to block fresh billions in aid when the bloc's 27 leaders meet in Brussels on Thursday. At the summit, the EU is eyeing agreement to give Ukraine 50 billion euros more in financial aid, tapping up a weapons fund for Kyiv by 5 billion euros and opening talks to join the bloc next year. Nigerian fans have taken to social media to praise the Super Falcons after they were named the Women's Team of the Year at the CAF 2023 Awards off the back of an impressive showing at the Women's World Cup on Monday. Nigeria's brave ladies bowed out of the competition in the round of 16 after losing to England on penalties after normal and extra time ended barring. The Super Falcons ended their Mundial campaign without losing any march in regulation time, and they were the only undefeated African national. They did not lose a match in their three Group B games, and they drew Olympic champions Canada, Shock Coast co-hosts Australia, and settled for a point against the Republic of Ireland. After they were announced winners, Nigerians took to social media platform X to praise the Falcons. And that's just about it on the news tonight. But before we go, remember that you can follow news and programs on ABS from any part of the world by liking our Facebook page, follow us at Edinburgh Broadcasting Service. Subscribe to our YouTube page at ABS Television Orca. Follow us on X at ABS Radio TV. And on Instagram at ABS Radio TV. You can also log on to our website at www.absradiotv.com. And now on the main point again. Governor Saludo has restated the importance of sports in character formation, building team spirit in youths. An Amber State government has disowned reports on cash transfer for Christmas. President Tinibu has asked armed forces to remain nonpartisan, protect democracy. And on the foreign scene, we told you that the German Chancellor has urged the Western allies to renew support for Ukraine. To end the news, here is a special message again. Governor Chukwu Mr. Ludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra state economy and promotion of core Ibu values. Let's give him maximum support for the tax ahead. And that's it on the news tonight. Thank you for joining us. My name is Chidima Orangwa. Good night. <laughs>